Jasper number one, number one Jasper, first Jasper. Prime. Prime, right, yes. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could, you know, spice up the fruit bowl a little bit. Meal. Meal. This is the meal. Jasper fact 57, everyone. Despite, Despite being allergic, allergic to it, Jasper's favorite food, food is the banana, banana implying that his favorite meal will be a bowl of bananas. Yum. Why was there a question mark? This is our first dinner with Jasper himself. It has to be perfect. Will we be faking allergic reactions after dinner as well, sir? Of course! Very good, sir. Now I can get you alone! No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You knocked out Jasper. No, I knocked out Jasper Prime. No, oh my god, they switched clothes. No, 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 that's what no, we're trying to stop exactly them from like doing. They already did. No, when would they have time to yes. do Oh my god, this couldn't get more complicated. Sure. Yo, real Promise talk though, anything. why should we even listen to either of you? Neither of you are Jaspers. Neither of you have taken the Jasper but, Feist. But what is a Jasper Feist? The Jasper Feist. You take a pilgrimage up to the top of a very steep cliff. Then you and sacrifice then... the one person you love the most, right? You've seen your go-to oh, karaoke no, song. What's wrong with you? Who do you think we are? Benjamin, Benjamin. Hello. Benjamin. No, how can I warn you? If Oliver, I what's happening? No I have no there idea. There was a reason you didn't know, Arthur. A reason do I didn't Do you know, know how time. long you've been gone, Lydia? I'd been Seinfeld, living single, mad about you, Frazier, the real housewives of Atlanta, selling Sunset twice! You should try Lumber Sweats in the Sweet Meat Chronicles next. Hey, I wrote that! Oh god, Benjamin, you're awake. Yeah, don't you think they'll notice I'm gone? No, your brain switches to its backup storage, basically like autopilot. Wait, backup storage? We the people, in order to form a more perfect union. I'm sure it'll be fine. And who are you? Oh my, who We're are Benjamin you? and Oliver. I'm Oliver, he's Benjamin, and we're best pals exploring the vast universe of dreamscape okay, travel. Look, Mrs. Hills is training us to become lucid so we can get back to our old life. Now, who are we're you? We're training children, Lydia. Oh, we're actually not children, which brings us to our first adventure, when we woke up Oliver, from- Lydia. None of this concerns you, Arthur. Doesn't concern- I woke up one morning to find my wife practically in a coma with a note next to her telling me not to worry, but if I try to wake her up or take her to the hospital, she might die. Okay, I guess I won't wake her up. So I wait. I watch all those aforementioned shows. You have and... great taste, by the way. Thank you. And then I decide, you know what? I might as well start investigating. So I go to your office. Oh, I told you Yeah, that. Lydia, I found the Pride and Prejudice fan fiction, and we are never watching that miniseries again. But I read your notes. All the studies you'd been doing on memories and dreams and the uncertainty principle and string theory, I read it all. And still, you hadn't woken up yet. And I've been feeding you through tubes and all the rest for weeks now. So I figure I might as well give it a try. <laughs> what do you know? A few jumps into a few people's heads later, and here you are. I thought maybe you'd gotten lost. Maybe you were trying to find your way back. Find your way back? You seem just fine doing whatever it is that you're... Lydia. Arthur, please don't. What have you been doing? What have you been making these boys do? Whoa, hey man, this time... 
Well, you were just midway through reciting word for word the transcript of season six, episode 11 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Seriously? That's where my brain goes? It was actually pretty impressive. Okay, fine. Where was I? Um, now just breathe. Now just breathe. Everything's going to be fine. What's wrong with you guys? My diamond earring fell off in the ocean. And now it's gone. Kim, there's people that are dying. Anyone would be annoyed at me and I worked really hard for it. No, that's sweet of you. Thank you. Do you think he'll come back? He always does. He seemed pretty angry. He'll come back when he's ready. Ready for what? Ready to understand that we might see our son again. Quinn. Quinn. Calling himself Jasper Prime, whatever that is. God, I hope it's a phase. <laughs> He died when he was three months old. One morning. But somewhere, he grew up. When I found out about dreamscapes and the rest, I could only think of him. And I searched through every part of my dreams looking for him. But he was gone. That I could not believe. Forget my son. I started looking through other people's dreams, and then the dreams of people inside those dreams. I would go one night at a time, and then days, and soon I forgot how long I'd been gone. Arthur had no idea what I was doing. He thought I was just tired from the grief. But I was always looking. Always. And then suddenly, there he was. A young man, stuck in someone else's dream. But why us? How did he get there? I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. I should have told Arthur. It was a mistake to keep him away. That I know. Why didn't you? We all have secrets, Oliver. Some grow so large that you can't see anything else. Some are so small they can fit in your pocket. Do you want some tea? I'm going to make some. Always helps me calm down. It's odd. Once you get past the point of not knowing what's real anymore, you realize it doesn't matter. All that's ever been real is what you chose. You're real, Oliver. At least to me. So don't you're a real wild child. Always gone before the sun.